Uh, Hi, I'm Robert Gibson. I'm Ricky Morton. We're the Rock and Roll Express. And you're watching WGS TV. at MSX Revelations right here on WGS TV along with Rick Head and the incomparable Lance Moss. I am the Russell Gamer Double B Billy Booger and out comes Cody Hawkins. But Rick, I don't know how we can all actually concentrate after the travesty we just witnessed with the with the trilogy and Mark Madden. It, it was just an absolute decimation of Mark Madden, Rick. Well, with the trilogy, you know what? It, it, it's always chaos with the trilogy run, and you can never, you know, it's you can never wonder with what they're gonna do. And you know, Mark Madden, you can only wonder what's gonna happen with him. So, but so you can all just hope that for the best, best for Mark Madden, and uh, let's pay attention to this match. From the Oh so, um, and here. Maverick. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they are back. Oh Lord! And look, there's of course. Yep. The, the trilogy always have to make a statement in every match, in every moment of MSX. Yep. The Yep, and, and that's the M.O. Of, of the trilogy, Lance, is, you know, it's the numbers game. They always have to have the numbers in their favor. Yeah, they said that numbers advantage is always with them, but hey, when you, when you lie with dogs, you, don't, you can't be surprised when you get fleas. Maverick and Spears have tagged up a lot in Battlezone over in Mississippi multiple time tag team champions in that corporation so they really know each other very well and they, they know each other like to know the back of their hands and um, this is my first real opportunity our first real opportunity over here in Mid-South Extreme to get a really good look at Max Maverick but you know like we said before you know they always have to have the numbers game in their favor it's Max Maverick coming out with the new co-owner cool of Mid-South Extreme, which was a, a shocking announcement in itself, Rick. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people were surprised by the, that, that announcement. Uh, even I was shocked to hear that announcement. Uh, but I, I, I think sometimes that turn of events, you can never know what happens. You know, things. Well, if you just saw that, Spielberg just went right back to the back, and Ashton Spears is still out here. And, uh, well, Lance, is always, Ashton Spears, uh, very vocal, to say the least. Yeah, that's uh, putting it lightly. And well, all I'm gonna say is Cody Hawkins is gonna have to ha have to have eyes in the back of his head during this match. And you just saw Cody Hawkins just made a gesture towards Ashton Spears, saying, "I got my eyes on you," but that's gonna be very, very difficult to do while he's in the ring with Max Maverick. From what I hear, this young man is indeed very gifted in the ring, very, very talented, but. You know, there's one thing to have talent, Rick, and there's one thing to have the attitude of a snail, and that's kind of the attitude Max Maverick and Ashton Spears both share. They both have an attitude of a snail. Attitude of a snail. You can have an attitude of a snail, but how good you are in the ring is total, two totally different things. Nice headlock takeover there by Max Maverick. We're already on Cody Hawkins. Again, Maverick seems to be very well versed, and, well, there's a counter right there by Hawkins into a into a head, a head scissors as Maverick is trying to find some way to try to head stand out of it and he does into a cover and Cody Hawkins quickly got out of it 
Again, these two. Hawkins has had his run-ins in the past, Lance, with the trilogy, in particular, Ashton Spears. Oh, uh, they have a long and stored history. Colin Elbow tie-up. And now it's the insane machine with the side headlock on Maverick. And Maverick trying to find hit and find some way to get out of it. But Hawkins with a, with a size advantage on a nice headlock takeover. Onto Maverick and oh Maverick almost got caught sleeping there, Rick. Yeah, he did, but you know he, Maverick, even though you have to admit, who really has the advantage? Does Maverick have the advantage because he has the trilogy on his back, or does he does Hawkins have the size advantage? But it's you know it, you gotta really who has the advantage on this game because you get the trilogy lurking outside, outside, and then of course you have Cody Hawkins who has the size advantage inside the ring. It's really a who's who's inside this match. Spears and Maverick there with a little bit of a consultation right there, trying to come up with a strategy for Cody Hawkins. Hawkins right now seems to be almost on the advantage, having the ability to counter anything. Well, as soon as I say that, there's a nice. Single leg nice. takedown. Why does he have a chair? Yeah. <laughs> Maverick with an action spears in the chair, you gotta wonder. You could always question. Maverick with an interesting submission hold, almost an, a combination of an STF arm bar. As you see, he's got the leg bra brain fine, but now he's let that go into a traditional arm bar. But a, a unique submission hold. I don't, I don't think I've really ever seen a submission hold like that, but a nice counter by Hawkins, and oh man, right into the ribs. Of the insane machine, Maverick stopping it. Oh, and right oh. to the head of Cody nice. Hawkins. Somebody get some BM headache powder for I IBM headache powder for Cody Hawkins. He's gonna need it after that. As a, we saw Spear saying he's the man. Well, right now he is the Triple Crown champion, and Rick is very hard to deny that statement that he is the man. Oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> he. Uh, <laughs> Certainly not a humble man, uh, is Ashton Spears. Yep, we've had uh, many of a conversation with Ashton Spears right here on WGS TV as Lance uh, Hawkins is almost on spaghetti legs right now. Very much so, but if I know one thing about Cody, you can never count him out. Oh, oh nice counter oh right there by Maverick. Son, spoke up. And Maverick saying, How about them apples? Goes for the cover, but. I think that might have been a little bit of a showboating right there, Rick, that could have cost Maverick. Instead of showboating, he probably should have just went for the cover. I agree. Showboating will uh, cost you a match every time. And Hawkins would have pushed back. Oh, and they caught him Ooh. right in the ribs again. And now Maverick, what is he doing? Oh, my God! Good God. Take a look at this again, Rick. Watch this right to the side of the head. <laughs> Unbelievable impact right there by Maverick. And again, Hawkins trying to fire back. Insane machine trying to take it to Maverick. Misses a clothesline and oh, and Maverick with a baseball slide into home plate. And uh, one would say he's safe. And again, another uh, consultation right there with Ashton Spears. And you gotta say right there, Rick, that was a smart move by Maverick to stop the momentum of Cody Hawkins before it even got started. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, when you get your ass kicked, sometimes it's best to go outside and take a breather. And Maverick, again, taking his time getting back into the ring. Again, a smart veteran-like move right there by Maverick to slow that momentum down before he even gets started by Hawkins. And, oh, and a shot right to the knee. Right, right to the knee. And again... And Maverick Lance, what it looks like, he seems to have that Ole Anderson-like mentality. He picks a body part, and he just goes to town on it. And so far, we've seen him do the ribs. We've seen him go after the arm. And as you can see right there, going after the leg of Cody Hawkins. And Spear shot to give him the cheap, cheap shot. Referee saw it and cut that off. But again, the referee distracted. And look at this, Lance. Look oh, at this. Come on, Rip. Referee. Good job, Rip. Referee distracted, oh my god, a knee right to the face of Cody Hawkins behind the referee's back. And, and that alludes to what we said at the beginning of this match, Rick, about this numbers game always in the favor of the trilogy. The referee is just far too busy taking care of uh, Max Maverick. He's the one who really needs to have the eyes in the back of his head. 
And now Maverick, now what a what a version of a well, of the accolade. Eat your heart out, Rusev. A version of it. He's got the he's got one of the arms grapevined and the other one almost like in a side headlock. And Hawkins, Hawkins might be fading here. Hawkins, Hawkins might be fading. His arm, his arm is down once. It, go, it goes down again. This matchup is over. This matchup is over, and the arm did not go down. The arm did not go down. Hawkins trying to find some life, trying to fight, find out of this hole. Buries the elbow a couple of times into the ribs, sends him off, and Hawkins just caught him with pure muscle and a fallaway slam. Rick, that was just pure muscle, pure power by, by Hawkins, and Hawkins getting fired up, Rick. That was a beautiful takeover power slam. Fallaway slam, excuse me. The NC machine kicking into that next gear. And they and drops the hatchet right down. Shaggy Tudor will be happy about that one, but only got a two count on Max Maverick. Hawkins don't have that juggalo lifestyle. As, oh, wait a minute, Hawkins. Oh, Hawkins went for a kick, and oh my god! Got him on the rebound. Watch this kick, Rick. Look at this. Missed the first one and BAM! Oh. Right in the back of the head. How is Maverick not unconscious right now, Rick? Fight with J11, of course, now we see Ashton Spears getting involved right now, giving his buddies Mac Ma Max Maverick a little bit of extra time to recover. Oh, Maverick, Maverick, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, caught him right on the jaw. One, two, three. Oh! Kick no, he did not, and like, oh, that okay. is it. Unbelievable turn of events at the ending of this match. Let's go back uh, on the replay here. As of course, Ash and Spears paying dividends, as we see right here, distracting Cody Hawkins. As you can see in the background right there, Maverick all the way up, and BAM! Right there on the jaw. With that super kick, just knocks out the insane machine. To say what you want about Mass Maverick, but that was a beautiful super kick. It definitely was. Wow. You know, and yep. you gotta give it to Ashes Spears, you know what? Again, he got involved, he did his job, he distracted the ref, gave his buddy Max Maverick time to recover. Super kick, he got his buddy the win. Yep, and and, and Hawkins with a sign of frustration right there, but anytime you're dealing with the trilogy, you always gotta have to worry about dealing with all of them all at once. It's never a one on one game with this. Well, Hawkins got something to say here. Do you think this is the start? The beginning of the end? Not for me. Ominous words right there by Cody Hawkins. And on that note, guys and gals, we'll be back.